Hey everyone, Aesobs here. Today I want to talk to you about why I'm partnering with Open Guild and explain why I think this could be a good opportunity for other guilds to help grow and expand their scholarship programs. This is not a recommendation to invest with Open Guild at all. I am not familiar with that side of their business. They're handling all that stuff. I'm just going to be talking about the guild perspective and why I personally, as a guild owner, am partnering with Open Guild. So again, do your own research if you want to invest with them. This is by no means a recommendation, and they're not sponsoring this video at all. Okay, the first thing I want to show you guys is just quickly go over the basic concept of their model here. So you guys can see we have the investors deposit capital into Open Guild. Open Guild then deploys the funds amongst different guilds. Then those guilds end up returning part of the shared income back to the Open Guild platform, which then pays dividends to the investors. Let me show you a little bit more of an advanced model so you guys can see how this works a little bit better. Okay, as you guys can see here, there's a lot of different things going on. What I want to focus on is from the manager perspective how this works. Okay, so obviously you have investors, but that's all handled by Open Guild. They deal with any KYC and all that kind of stuff that needs to be dealt with. The thing I want to focus on though is once we get over to the guild side, okay? So the way that Open Guild works is they take this aggregate pool right here, then they ended up actually putting that into individual pools for different guilds to take from. This individual pool is especially made for that guild. For example, my guild is Champion NFT Gaming, so Champion NFT Gaming is going to have an individual pool. From that pool, I can then interact with their platform and actually withdraw some capital, as you guys can see here by step four, into the guild wallet. From that guild wallet, the next thing that happens right off the bat is we take our guild management fee. Then what we do is we end up using some of that capital to buy the Pega in the game. And then we find them scholarships and work out through all that. Once we get the scholarship program up and running, what we end up doing is we actually split the money. We, as the guild, actually put our share into an escrow account until Open Guild gets all the capital returned first. So you guys can see that right here with 7A and 8A. Basically, the way that works is let's say the Pega scholarships make $100. $85 is going to go back to the Open Guild platform to handle and deal with on their side of things. And $15 then gets put into this escrow account that's held until we give Open Guild back their initial uh, capital that they lent to us. Once we return the initial capital to Open Guild, then this escrow account unlocks and we actually get part of our, the dividend. The dividend that we are owed as the guild then comes back to, again, my personal wallet. Uh, and from there on out, then we don't have to deal with the escrow account. Automatically, we just split it between, again, 85% goes back to the Open Guild platform to then be dealt with on their side of things. And then we take 15% of the dividends after that point. Okay, here's something that might help this make a little bit more clear. Here's a doc, some of their documents. Okay, from the guild perspective, how are guilds compensated? So right off the bat, here's that 2% management fee that I was mentioning to you guys right here, step five, this guild management fee that gets taken out. After that, then we end up putting 15% share of the dividends into that escrow account. However, as I mentioned, this escrow account is locked until we return 100% of the capital to investors. After that point, then things just get split 1585 a lot more cleanly. We handle all that on our side and they have some auditing software to verify that we are honest and doing it correctly. Open Guild does require these different guilds that they're giving assets to, to sign a legal contract and go through a KYC process. I cannot disclose that legal contract to you guys for obvious reasons, but some basics of it is basically just don't do anything malicious. As long as you're doing things correctly, then there's not an issue as far as the guild perspective. Open Guild has quite a few pretty notable investors backing their project. An example here that everybody I'm sure knows is Geos is actually uh, somebody who's backing this project. So again, and then you have some other notable names like Dragonfly Capital and some of these other ones. At the end of the day, to keep this short and sweet, I think Open Guild is a great way for guilds to grow out their scholarship programs, get access to assets, and also take advantage of some of the upside without having to put the capital in themselves. I think that's a great opportunity for these guilds to get into. Again, as I said earlier, if you're looking at from the investment perspective, I cannot recommend that. I'm not familiar with that side. I'm not involved with that side at all. So do your due diligence, do all that. I'm not at all recommending that. But from a guild manager perspective who would be receiving some of this value and helping to build out your scholarship program, for me personally, I'm very interested to see how this works and that's why I'm partnering with them. If you guys are interested to learn more about Open Guild, I'll include the link to their website as well as their Discord down below. You guys can go ahead and chat with some of the team members.